All right. Uh, good morning. This is Luke Thomas from Quist here of the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 1141 in the morning. Friday, November 4th, 2022, 1141 in the morning on Friday, November 4th, 2022. And we have a serious situation in the San Francisco Bay on Monday and Tuesday. Let's get right to the warning and forecast. <clears throat> All right, we have, uh, this is the uh, uh, forecast risk graph for California. We had a 5.1 that hit on the 20. Fifth in the San Francisco Bay. That was this spike in risk here. This one here did not materialize. It was a very strong spike in risk. It was a strong signal uh, saying that uh, San Francisco Bay is in danger of a very strong earthquake. This one did not uh, hit. Uh, this spike in risk here from the 31st into the 1st did hit. However, it was southwest southwest of uh, San Francisco Bay a uh, 6.0 earthquake, and we were calling for a 6.0 earthquake on that uh, peak. And uh, this is for today. This spike in risk here is a 4.1. Uh, it's possible today on the 4th in uh, most likely northwest of LA and uh, southeast of San Francisco Bay. But this one here, this is spike in risk is another very strong spike in risk. And the uh, risk units on that is 68 units, which is about a 6, 6.8. This one here in the, uh, on the 25th was uh, 50 units, and that was a 5.1. This spike in risk here on the 31st of the 1st was uh, uh, 58 units and turned out to be a 6.0. This is a, a 68 units, which could be a 6.8. So a 6.8 is likely, could be larger could be a 6.5, but a 6.8 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay on Monday, November 7th, most likely in the morning, could happen on the 7th or 8th, most likely in the morning of November 7th, which is Monday, I believe. Yes, Monday, November 7th, most likely in the morning on November 7th. And we have, the, uh, here's the maps here for that. <clears throat> 4.1 is likely uh, south of San Francisco Bay and Northwest of LA today on this forecast map. This is the forecast map for the 7th into the 8th. 6.8 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay on Monday or Tuesday, November 7th or 8th. And this you can see is centered. The risk is centered right in the San Francisco Bay. Please warn your friends and family, a dangerous situation there. Our, uh, Accuracy levels at about 80%. And you'll see as we go along here that the quakes have been hitting exactly where we say they're going to hit. Here's the risk graph for Japan. This uh, peak on the uh, 5th into the 6th should produce a 4.7 down here in southern, kind of near uh, Miyazaki in southern Japan or uh, well, west of Japan here in this area. But a 4.7 is likely during this spike in risk on the 5th into the 6th. In Alaska, we have a very strong uh, risk area here near Anchorage that could produce a strong earthquake, 5.0 or larger, uh, just uh, northeast or north of the Anchorage area. Taiwan, a 4.0 to 4.5 is likely in this area east of Taiwan. And in Italy, this strong peak here produced a 5.5 down here, and this is our bullseye. You can see our risk uh, risk level is very high in this area in southern Italy, and that's exactly where this quake hit right here. You can zoom in here. You can see it was right in this bay here, uh, southeast of Naples, and that's exactly where the 95% risk it was uh, hit exactly as forecasted. And you can see it was on this peak here. These two smaller peaks could produce a 3.5 earthquake. In uh, this area up here in uh, north central Italy on the 4th through the 6th. Uh, and you can see, let's see the graph here. I have the graph there. There it is. Uh, the 4th uh, is the most likely to produce 3.5 in this area. And then on the 6th, you could get a quake right down here in central Italy. 
but this risk level is not extremely high. It's uh, could produce a three point about a three point five. In Greece, we had a very strong risk here in southwestern uh, Turkey during the fourth and fifth of November, and you can see here the uh, right in that area, four point eight earthquake hit right in here in the ninety five percent risk area here. So that one hit uh, right on uh, on schedule. Um, and you can see the uh, risk graph here. It was on this spike in risk here on the 4th. And it hit right in our 95% risk area. And you can see there was the quake right there. <clears throat> New Zealand, we have a spike in risk coming up on the 5th into the 6th. And that should hit down here in southwestern New Zealand. And then the next spike in risk comes on the 7th into the 8th. And that could produce a 6.5. This other one could produce a 5.0 in Southwest uh, New Zealand. This strong one here could produce a 6.5. But in the far northeastern portion of New Zealand, on the 7th and the 8th, <clears throat> excuse me, all these more forecast maps, you can get over quakeprediction.com. And here again is the risk for California. This spike produced a 5.1. This spike here on the 31st and the 1st produced a 6.0. And this one here should produce a, about 4.1 uh, in uh, the area uh, west central uh, California. And this spike in risk coming up on the 7th uh, could produce a 6.8 earthquake. In the San Francisco Bay, you can see it's centered right there in the San Francisco Bay. Remember, our accuracy now with this new forecast model is doing very well. It's at about 80% accuracy since we began, began this forecast model on uh, October 23rd. And around the world, these uh, quakes are hitting on time and in the right spot, as you saw uh, during this uh, forecast. So once again, please warn your friends and family that live in San Francisco Bay looking for a 6.8 earthquake. On Monday, November 7th, most likely in the morning, could hit on the 8th, most likely on the 7th. Please be aware of that and warm your friends and family. And we will be back uh, most likely after the earthquake, maybe tomorrow with more updates. But uh, stay safe in California. Strong earthquake coming to California during uh, the next 72 hours, most likely on Monday morning or Tuesday. Thanks so much and uh, stay safe, everybody, especially in the San Francisco Bay with that large earthquake coming on Monday. Thank you.